carrying capacity. The maximum equilibrium number of organisms of a particular species that can be supported indefinitely in a given environment. That's just a long-winded way of saying the amount of living things that can be supported in one area. A good example of this is a small island. There's only so much land available for plants to grow. This limits the amount of food available to animals, which in turn limits their population size. But when you zoom out, you'll notice that the Earth itself is nothing but a small rocky island floating in the endless ocean of space, and that the land available is indeed very finite. This means just like the island, the Earth also has a carrying capacity. Now, assuming that us humans don't do something incredibly stupid first, like blowing ourselves up with some small radioactive metal cylinders, we will eventually have to deal with the fact that Earth only has so much room available for us to live and grow food. This will have some profound impacts on future generations and the way they live their lives. First things first, just what is the carrying capacity of the Earth for us humans anyways? Well, luckily this has been calculated many times in the past, and the answer is 100 million. Oh uh, wait, I mean 2 billion? This website says 10 billion, and look, this one says 40 billion. You see, all estimates of the past have been wrong, and it's likely all estimates today are wrong as well. The thing is, you really just can't predict when some new technology is going to come along and drastically increase the amount of food we can produce. Just like the tractor did in the past, and the steel plow did before that. So our estimates are not exact, and most range between 10 and 40 billion, but again, these are just guesses. Just to put that in perspective, there are currently over 7 billion people on Earth right now, and estimates say we may reach 11 billion by the end of the century. But one thing that is at least a little more clear is how life might change for us humans as we get closer and closer to that number to help increase the carrying capacity. You should expect to see more people living in dense cities. In fact, this is something we are witnessing right now, with more people than ever moving out of the countryside and into cities and suburbs. Over half of the people alive today live in urban areas, versus only about 3% in the 1800s. This trend will only continue to increase as the population gets larger and the demand for land increases. Also, meat will either become a delicacy or be grown in labs. The fact is, it takes more food to grow an animal than we can get out of it with its flesh, and you can grow more crops with the same amount of land. In a world where both space and food are limited, large cattle farms will be very hard to justify. We have already experimented with growing beef in labs, and in the future this might be where most beef comes from, with normal beef being saved for the rich or special occasions. Plants might also be grown differently. We may grow them indoors in skyscrapers, that way we can make better use of the land we have available. We may also start to grow algae, either for biofuel or to be processed into food, something that's already being experimented with. But unfortunately, it gets darker. We humans have already shown our willingness to fight over limited resources, and the closer we get to carrying capacity, the more nations will try to expand their borders to adjust for an ever-growing population. In a more dystopian future, countries might even start to see war as a way to decrease their population sizes. It's also not far-fetched to imagine that countries might introduce laws to limit population growth. After all, we have seen this before with China. These are problems for another generation, but that doesn't mean we should ignore them. Hopefully mankind can come up with a solution to these problems, whether it's through new farming techniques or colonizing other worlds. Either way, a solution will be needed one day, and there is hope. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to either show your support or keep up with new uploads. You can follow me on Twitter now, link is in the description, and as always, please enjoy the rest of your internet going experience.